How are you? Hello. Hello. Walter? No. <coughs> Hello. Hi, Walter. How are you? Good. And you? I'm good. I'm just driving, so I'm going to go off the video. You're driving? Yeah. In a convertible? My convertible, yeah. What? I didn't know you had a convertible. Well, I have it for a long time. The green one, right? The Mercedes? Yeah. Yeah. Nice car. Oh, I didn't know that. So, Bo is earning. Hello. Sí, le mandé un mensaje para el cuatro cero nueve. ¿Lo recibió? Sí, pero fíjese. Hello, everybody. Sí lo voy a hacer, don Mario, porque usted me da el gran trabajo. Hola. Pero yo hasta leí lo que quieren, graba. Graba quiere. Y en verdad no, no, no alcanza el dinero para el dinero que él quiere pagar. Porque tengo que arrancar los arbustos, sacar tres pulgadas de tierra. Tengo que pagar sí. a los muchachos. Tengo que pagar por la según, la, según la muchacha, me dijo que estaba aprobado. Mario. Sí, Mario. Mario, ya está. One you second, to, please. You have Put to the mute. So we're on Kuf Dalid Ahmed Aleph, 104. Tomorrow we'll learn at 6.30 at the show. Im Amr Lacha Korli Sadeh Beis HaShalchim Zeh. A owner tells a sharecropper, I want you to share crop in this irrigated field. And the Mishnah said, if the if the spring dries up, he can reduce the cost. He can reduce the uh, amount he has to pay him. Perhaps the guy could say, I'm only calling it, it's not really an irrigated field. It has the name of an irrigated field. We have examples of that. Milo Tanya. I'm going to sell you a piece of land that has a core of dirt. Even though it only has a half a core, the deal is a good deal. 
Shlomachalo ella shmo. That's the way people called this piece of land a base core, but it really didn't have a base core. Or Karmani Moichala, I'm going to sell you a vineyard. Even though there's no grapes there, he gives you it's a sale. Shlo Mokhalo Elashma Dakri Karma. It's called a karma. Hardy Sani Moichalacha. I'm going to sell you an orchard. Avu Pishain Bo remind you, even though there's no pomegranate trees, he gives you. It's a sale. Shlo Mokhalo Shma with the Matakri Pardesa. Alma, the Amalay. This that I called it a base of shalchan is just a name. Achanami name Allah Hashem Abama Amir Lucha Amir Shmuel like Kasher. Hadar Amalei Machkir Luchaiker depends who's speaking to who. If the owner is speaking to the sharecropper, Hadar Amalei Choiker LeMachkir, or if it's the sharecropper talking to the owner, what's the difference? Imamalo Machkir Luchaiker. If the owner talks to the sharecropper, Yachol, he can say Shem Abama Amalei. The, the sharecropper could not argue against the owner to say it was just a name that I called it. But if the sharecropper is speaking to the owner, so so he's not interested unless it was an irrigated field. Ravina Amr, I divided We can say that the case refers to, in every case, the owner is talking to the sharecropper. Now, when he said this field, Michlal, the Kad the he's standing there. So Beis Lameimar. Why would he call it Beis Hashachim if it wasn't? I'm giving it to you as a sharecropper the way the field is currently with the irrigated field. Without the irrigated field, it'll be different. Hamakabel Solim Chaveru. A person agreed to be a sharecropper, Vohoviro, and he didn't work the land at all. We we do an estimation how much produce would the land be able to produce. For no sin loan, he has to give him that amount of money. That was written in the star in Oiver Avid. If I happen not to work the land, I'll pay. What the land could produce. Rameir Ayadorish Loshnedin. He would derive certain halachas regarding steroids that that were common among common people, even though they weren't written by Chachami. Tanya, Rameir Oimir, him Oiver Veloy Avid Asham Bebetva, like people would write in a star. If I don't work the land at all, I agree to pay you at least the value. And he poskin that way. Rav Yudah also hayadorish lo shenedyeh. Rav Yudah oimer adamevi korban asher al ishto. So if a wife gives birth, so she has to bring a korban. Now the kind of korban she brings is different whether she has she's wealthy or not. So we don't say, since a woman doesn't have her own money, she's considered a poor person. She brings it based on the financial status of her husband. Other korbanis, if she has to bring a katas or an ashab, where there is an option to have a sliding scale, a less expensive korban, we do it based on the financial status of the husband. Shekach. It's written in the Ksubach. Any responsibility that even you had on yourself, even from before, I'm responsible to co cover the cost for that. Hillel Azokin, I adore it. Hillel Azokin would do the same. He would darshan from a contract the same way. Anshay Alexandria, how you makachim is the Shoseyan. The men of Alexandria would give kiddushin to their wives significant amount of time before the chuppah. When they brought their wives to the chuppah, other men 
would come and steal their wives. Well, once they were given Kiddushin, they're Nesha Sish. And if somebody else is going to have relations with her, the children could be Mamzerim. So the children of this of these unions requested to see the ksuba. There was a tnai in the kiddush that the kiddush would only be chal once she entered the chupa. Since she was grabbed before she went to the into the chupa, the kiddush was not chal. And therefore, there was no Asia siege. And therefore, the children are not Mam Zerid. Therefore, the loss of them, Mam Zerid. Rishub and Korcha Yadorish Loshin Yadid. Rishub and Korcha did the same thing, the Tan. Rishub and Korcha Oimer. Amavez Chaveiro. You make a loan. Loimish Kanenu. You shouldn't take a collateral. Yoiser Mechoiva. If the loan was $1,000, the collateral shouldn't be more than $1,000. That's what the borrower writes to the lender. That if the Malva returns the mashkon, so that the Lova can use it, it should be equal. It shouldn't be more than the loan itself. Now, time to come to the it was written that way. Hi, ilo cause of lehachi lo kanya. So, are you telling me if it wasn't written like that, he wouldn't be according to the mashkan? Va am rav yechnan mashkano. If the borrower, excuse me, if the lender took a mashkan, veheishiv lo sa mashkan returned it, umeis, and then the borrower died. Shomte magabi bana. If he hadn't paid off the debt, we take the mashkon from the Yisomi. You don't say that it's like regular metatalin that we they wouldn't be able to pay off, they wouldn't be able to collect from the metatalin. Here, the mashkon is considered like the rechush of the malva to be able to collect from Because ahanik siva legiron, if the value of the mashkon was less, then the value of the loan, he would still be able to collect. If the collateral was only $500 and the loan was $1,000, he would be able to collect the other $500. Rav Yosi Ayadorish Loshnedya, the Tanya. Rav Yosi Omer. Mokum Shinogulasus Tsuba Malve. They would write a star for a loan. And in, th in those places, Malva, that you, the the lender would collect based on what was written in the in that star. Sometimes lichpo, sometimes they would double the amount. That if the if it was really four hundred dollars, they would write eight hundred dollars, in order to increase the cover to the kala, to make it look like the husband bringing in a lot of money. In those locales, go the Rakmechza, they would only collect half. In Arbloi, go Tilsa. In Arbloi, they would triple the amount. And therefore, the actual collection was only a third of what was written. The father of the Kala would add Gifts and based on that star, Marema would collect the gifts, but basically only what was written in that suba. Am Ravino Marema, I Batanya Lichfo Govimerza. You don't collect exactly what's in it. In the locales that double it, you collect only 50%. Loi Kasha Ha, the Konimine. If you make a Kenyan on the amount that's written in the star, so then you only then you collect what's in the star. How the local minig? There was no Kenyan. Then you follow the local minig. Ravina Majbech Ksiv Labarte. Ravina would add like gifts 
for his daughter Nixuba. Amrle Nikdimine Demar. Should we do a Kenyan? Amrlu Imak the Lo Michpel. If you're gonna make a Kenyan, then don't double the amount. E Michpel, if you're gonna double the amount, Lo Mikna, don't make a Kenyan. Ahu Gavra Darmalu Avulu Arba Me Zuzi Labarti Biksuvasu. A person told his heirs, the children that were going to inherit him before he died, to give the daughter 400 zoos for her ksuba. Shalach Ravacha Bered Avi Lekame Ravashi. They sent the following Shaila to Ravashi. What was the guy's intent? Arba man, the Inun was did he really, did he want him to write 800 in the ksuba? Like we've said, they, they doubled it. Or is it Really, it's 200, and he wanted them to write for him. Ravashi Chazina, let's see. The Omer Havula, if it said give her 400, Tamneman means write 800 because they're going to give half, which is 400. The Omer Ksuvula, if it said write 400, then Arba Mason. It meant write 400, which is really 200. Another test. If he said give Arba Meos Liksubasa, that means Arba Meos Uzidi in Tamimea, which means 800. Then he would write Arba Meos Uzidi in Masa. He would write four, which is really 200. But the Lohi. The halacha is not like any of this. You always write arba me'azuzi de inin masot. Four hundred that are really two hundred. Unless ad amr habule staman, unless he said give stam, without explaining for what purpose in the ksuba it was made. Hauk avra the kibble ar Person accepted to be a sharecropper in the field of his friend. If he decided not to work the field, he promised to give a thousand dollars. And in the end, he worked the field for a third of the year. He should get for the work that he did 333, a third of the what he promised if he didn't work at all. Rava Omar? No. That was an exaggeration. Asmachtahi. It's not an acceptance of responsibility to, to like that. And Asmachta like Kanya. It's not coin. Why is it different from the Mishnah that we learned? That if I let, let the field lie fallow, you'll pay me the value of what the produce would bring, we're going to do an estimation. So that has some like kogosim. He didn't come up with a thousand dollars. That's that's a that's a guzma. That's an exaggeration. Hacha came into Karmi Milsi Yisirasa guzma ba'amu to kogosim. It was a guzma, was an exaggeration, and that's not smachta only. Alu gavre the kabel ari l'shum shumi. A person was a sharecropper, and they made a deal that he would grow sesame. And that's very lucrative. And instead, Zarachiti, he planted wheat. Now, the land itself would become weaker if he had grown sesame. But there's a lot of profit. However, of the Chiti Kishum Shumi, the land produced so much wheat, the same value as if it would, if it would have been produced sesame. Well, the Aris can deduct from what he has to pay the guy the the, the depreciation of the land. It, it, the, the land is worth less. Since he did Chitin instead of Shemshemim, the Balasada made profit because the land didn't get weak. 
It's a statement, it's a saying. People are interested in profit. They don't bring in this thing about whether or not the land was weakened or doesn't weaken. And if they, if he wanted, the sharecropper could have planted sesame. If he didn't, he doesn't get paid for that. Extra. Who governed the Kabbalah Lashum Shemi? A man accepted to be a sharecropper to, to plant sesame. And Zorachiti, he planted wheat instead. Abdechiti Tfei Min Shum Shemi. The value of the wheat that was produced came up more than the sesame. Sava Ravina Lamemer Yavlish Shavcha the Beni Beni. That the sharecropper could get the extra profit. The land got improved as well, so they divide it. They divide the difference. If the profitability was an extra hundred dollars, they divide. Hi Iska. Person takes money from a from a friend. Or diamonds like Schoira. And he's going to work and he's going to share the profits. Now, there might be ribbis. So the owner who gave either the money or the jewelry, he has to accept two thirds of the losses and a little less than the profit in order for it not to be ribbis. And that would be acceptable. So Paga Mavo Paga Pigod, what, what comes out is that this investment is half a loan and half a, a deposit with the guy. Ovid Rabbanu Milsa de Nichel and Lelova Venichel and Lamalva. The Chachamim created this so it would be beneficial to both. Hashem Damin and Paga Malva, now that you said it's half a loan, he boil the Mishli Be Shikra Shabridami. If half of it is just a loan, that he could do whatever he wants with the money. And for example, if he wants to buy beer and drink it, he can do it. But Rava Omer, no. It's called a business. I gave you the money to make business, not to do whatever you want with it. We Paskin like Rava. Unravidi Baravin, the Imais. The guy who accepted these this term. So what happens to the, the goods? Nasa metatl and etzelbono. The these objects remain with his heirs, and you don't use them to pay off his debt. It's like other metatlim that metatl and yorshim are not mishabed to their father's debts. But Rav Amalachi Karle Iska. The imes lo yasa metatul etzel bono. It's partnership. We shouldn't just treat the metatul with the with the assignment. No one's going to do business that way. Um, Rav Chadi Isko trade story. If there's this one business deal, but two stories, say to the mouth, say to the mouth. If there's a loss, the guy who lent the money absorbs the loss. Right? They wrote they wrote two stories. A little bit different. One talks about the loss, the other talks about the profit. So the Malva absorbs the loss. As we said, he has to be, in order to avoid ribbis, he has to accept more of the loss. We don't divide it in half. And therefore, it'll end up being a little lost for the Malva because he has, he has to be a little bit on the downside in order for it to avoid ribbis. We'll continue with this tomorrow. We're going to learn at the end at six six thirty. Oh yeah, good, good job. Good job. Thank you. Good job.